Bill Anderson's Life Tours back at you, my friends. I'm here at Los Angeles National Cemetery, one of the more beautiful cemeteries I've ever been in in my life. And I've been in a lot. And I'm here to pay my respects to a veteran actor whose career spanned over 50 years. He was a veteran of World War II. His name is John Russell. He had a hit TV series when I was a child from 1958 to 1962. He played Marshal Dan Troop in Lawman. And if you ever hear the, the jingle, the song from Lawman, you'll never get it out of your head, let me tell you. It's a great show. He was a great character. And John Russell was a big man. He stood six foot three, very slender, tall, handsome guy, great leading star for this TV show. And he starred in a lot of movies also. I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about his exciting career, but I wanna honor him and pay respects to him for my channel, Big Bill Anderson's Life Tours. Thank you, John Russell, for serving our country and fighting in World War II, and then coming back and having a hit TV show in Hollywood. Thank you. Growing up in Detroit, Michigan in the late 50s and early 60s, I was a long way from Hollywood at the time. So the only thing I could do was watch Hollywood on television. One of the early stars that I was impressed with was John Russell on a television show called Law Man. I always had an infatuation for Westerns and I'm going to tell you now the story of John Russell, the star of Lawman. John Lawrence Russell was born in Los Angeles on January 3rd, 1921. He attended the University of California, Los Angeles as a drama student and an athlete. Following the start of World War II, he joined the United States Marine Corps, though he was initially rejected because of his height at six feet three. He was commissioned as second lieutenant on November 11, 1942, and was assigned to the 6th Marine Regiment and was decorated for valor at Guadalcanal. He served as an assistant intelligence officer. He also contracted malaria and returned home with a medical discharge. Russell signed a contract with 20th Century Fox in 1945 and made his first film appearance as a guard in A Royal Scandal. He played several supporting parts while at Fox, acting as the role of a junior law partner in the Clifton Webb comedy Sitting Pretty in 1948, as well as a Navy pilot in Slattery's Hurricane in 1949. He primarily played secondary roles, often in Western films, including William A. Wellman's 1948 Yellow Sky, Later, he signed with Republic Pictures, where he was cast in a starring role opposite Judy Canova in Oklahoma Annie in 1952. In 1955, Russell landed the lead role in a television drama called Soldiers of Fortune. This half-hour syndicated adventure show placed him and his sidekick, played by Chick Chandler, in a dangerous jungle setting. While the show proved popular, it did not draw enough adult viewers to its prime slot and was canceled in 1957. That same year, he returned to films briefly to appear as a corrupt agricultural magnate in the Warner Brothers low-budget exploitation film, Untamed Youth. However, a year later, he returned to the small screen as a gunslinger, Matt Reardon, in the Empty Gun episode of the ABC Warner Western series Cheyenne starring Clint Walker. In 1958, Russell was cast in his best known role as Marshal Dan Troop, the lead character in Lawman, an ABC Warner's hit Western that ran for four years. Co-starring alongside Peter Brown, who played Deputy Johnny McKay, and Peggy Castle as Birdcage Salooner owner Lily Merrill. Russell portrayed a U.S. frontier peace officer. At the time that Lawman premiered, Russell played an outlaw, along with Ed Burns and Rodolfo 
Hoyas Jr. in the 1958 season premiere episode of Sugarfoot, another ABC Warner Brothers hit western with Will Hutchins in the title role. Russell also appeared as a Sioux chieftain in Yellowstone Kelly in 1959, as well as a rich but corrupt cattle rancher, Nathan Burnett, in the highly successful Howard Hawks western Real Bravo in 1959, starring John Wayne, Dean Martin, Ricky Nelson, and Walter Brennan. At the same time Russell guest starred in the episode of NBC's adventure series Northwest Passage, a fictionalized account of the exploits of Major Robert Rogers in the French and Indian War. In 1969, Russell appeared in five episodes of the Robert Wagner series, It Takes a Thief. Throughout the remainder of his movie career, he played secondary roles in more than 20 films, including several A.C. Lyles westerns and three films directed by his friend Clint Eastwood, most notably as Marshall Stockburn, the chief villain in Eastwood's 1985 film Pale Rider. Russell also and in the 1976 film Outlaw Josie Wales he portrayed Confederate soldier Bloody Bill Anderson. Russell also appeared in the second season of the Filmation Children's science fiction series Jason of Star Command. He played Commander Stone, a blue-skinned alien from Alpha Centauri. He replaced James Doohan, who had place, played the commander in the previous season, but left to start working on Star Trek, the motion picture in 1975. Russell married twice. He married Renata Tyrus in 1943. They had three children and divorced in 1965. He married again in 1970, was, but was divorced the following year. In addition to his many television shows and appearances, Russell worked in 52 feature films. Russell died of complications from emphysema on January 19, 1991, 16 days after his 70th birthday and was interred here at Los Angeles National Cemetery. His co-stars from the Lawman series, Peggy Castle died at age 45 in Hollywood from cirrhosis of the liver on August 11, 1973. She was cremated and her ashes were scattered, so there is no final place to visit for her. Peter Brown, the other co-star, died at age 80 in Phoenix on March 21, 2016. His burial is unknown. I did meet Peter Brown in 2001 as he was signing autographs at a Cowboy Hall of Fame uh, afternoon at the Sportsman's Lodge in Studio City, California. And I uh, spent... Uh, probably about 30 minutes talking with him. He was a very, very nice man. Uh, got to reminisce about his television shows, Laredo and Lawman and his long movie career. So I just wanted to share that with you, my friends. And did you have a favorite Western television series? growing up that you felt like you just couldn't miss, that you enjoyed so much, and that stayed with your childhood memories? If so, please leave a comment, let me know. And uh, I also wanted to thank uh, Mr. John Russell laying here at the Los Angeles National Cemetery for his years of service fighting for our country at Guadalcanal during World War II. Thank you, Mr. Russell, for your patronage to our country. And also, I want to thank all my new subscribers to Big Bill Anderson's Life Tours. Uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. I enjoy visiting roadside attractions, historic locations, graves of famous Western heroes and outlaws, and also uh 
celebrity graves, their homes, and some movie locations from time to time. So thank you, my friends, for taking time out of your busy day to spend time with Big Bill Anderson's Life Tours. Thank you again, and adios, amigos.